Hello again guys. Today I'm going to endeavour to do a concentric goblet, goblet out of a um, nice piece of um, zebra wood. Um, I've done a bit of practice on it. I haven't actually done it on a, what I call a decent bit of wood. So uh, the journey I'm taking is a new one and you'll be part of it should you be kind enough to stay and watch it all. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. I have an idea how it should turn out, but as we all know, um, most, most times anyway, things don't turn out as we expect them. So it'll be an interesting journey and uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, over to the lathe and uh, let's try and turn an eccentric. Okay, so we have a bit of zebra wood on the lathe and fortunately um, I started to rough it down before I realised the camera wasn't actually switched on. So we've had a square blank. Um, I've turned it around and put a tenon on and put it into the medium gripper jaws. I've currently got the tail stock up to the end to give some support. I'm just starting to foam, form the bowl of the goblet and we will take it to do Because of the nature of this wood, um, before hollowing out the bowl I'm actually going to drill a, a guide hole if you like which will give me a starting point to hollow out the bowl. Sanded down the um, the cup on the inside and on the outside here. What I'm going to do now is to um, put the finish on the inside. So I'm going to put some sanding sealer mix. My favourite coating at the moment. So what I've done now, I've sanded down to 400 and to here, because what I'm going to do, as I explained in the beginning, I'm going to try to eccent eccentric it if you like, so it's going to be coming around here. So what I'm going to do now is to uh, finish off to approximately there, so this part of the goblet is complete. And then we'll try the eccentric turning by uh, altering the axis in the chuck. So now we'll do the usual and the sanding sealer. really does bring the grain out. As I say, I've never worked with uh, this zebra wood before, but it's gorgeous markings. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, let that dry, and then we'll come back. I'll come back when I'm ready to do the final wax right, coating. I've got to a stage where um, 
I've applied two coats of the sanding sealer and cellular sanding sealer thinners mix. Um, applied the first coat, a towel, allowed it to dry, denibbed it, rubbed it down with wire wool. Same process the second time. Um, I've put one coat of wax on and um, with wire wool. I'm now going to buff that and then um, apply another coat of wax. Finished inside and out, and in fact the stem down to here. Now comes the scary part. Um, I'll tell you now I have done a few practice runs with uh, spare bits of wood doing this eccentric turning. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's my first attempt on camera and I'll be honest with you I'm a little nervous. Right so what we do now, what I want to do now is to mark the position of um, the goblet, the blank in the jaws. So normally go to number one jaw so that we know and then we put a mark on the wood just there so we know when we put it back that should line up and then hopefully this will be back on center axis again. Now this is the piece so what we do is undo the jaws and tilt the piece making sure that the shoulder at the bottom is tight with the face of the jaws and tighten up. Now obviously you have to be very careful not to touch the bowl. I've sanded up to 400 now by hand on this surface and while it's revolving on this surface. Okay, right now for the last coat of wax and then that will be that part finished and then comes the scary bit putting it back on its original axis and taking it off. I can't stress enough that this is obviously can, could be quite nasty it could fly off so I don't recommend this for um, beginners not that I'm an old pro I have been doing it a little while. If you're not confident in doing it, don't do it. That's the rule of thumb that I employ. If you're not happy with it, don't do it. And I'm standing, even though I've got my um, safety glasses on while I'm doing this, I'm standing well away out of the line of fire, just in case I should catch it and it breaks off. surface unfortunately 
I have to do by hand but then when I put it on the original or back on the original access I might be able to polish that up on the lathe but it's coming up not too badly by hand. Okay, stop the paper towel then, finish that off. Right, so what we do now is to put it back on its original axis. So I hold the um, the piece and push inwards so that it stays on the same, hopefully, and should just slot back in to where it was before. So I'm just buffing off the um, first coat of wax with a clean towel. On this last bit, I'm going to stay on the, uh, on the base. And now, now the last second coat of wax I think that's it. All remains to do is to part it off and sand the underneath and then the job is done. Back in a minute. And you can see it's come out rather well. And as I say, a little nib on the bottom there, sand that up. I'll put a couple of pictures up at the end. Um, yeah, it's it's something different. It needs a bit of work, I think, in the technique I use, but I think it's rather effective. A um, little bit heart-stopping in certain areas, but um, there's certainly room for improvement. But for my first attempt, proper attempt, I'm quite pleased and uh, I'm sure I'll do quite a few more of these and hopefully we'll um, improve on the technique. Okay, thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers now!